Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you within Power Query how you can basically do the advanced data grouping. So if you remember from my previous video I have basically done the sheet 1 grouping in sheet 1 itself or by creating a duplicate of that where I took the product name and I took the quantity right and this time I want to show you how you can do the advanced grouping which basically uh, where you can basically take all the products and all the uh, sorry multiple columns and multiple measures to do the grouping right and if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this uh, sheet the google sheet where i keep all of my power bi power query related videos where the topic is present over here in the column a by you can easily search it and then using the column B you can basically jump on to that video that way you can basically create your own learning path or searching for a specific topic then browsing through my channel becomes really difficult because a lot of videos are present here it is a single repository you can work it out very easily so with that information another quick information about the data set which is this one which I'm using and for this also link is present in the description okay coming back to the power query power query is uh, in within power query you have the option of group by over here so let's say what i want to do is um where is my product so okay let's say this category right so group by is present over here and uh, this is the basic one which i showed in the previous video and i'll click on advance as soon as i click on advance basically gives you more and more options so first option is category let's say i want subcategory as well right and uh, let's say i want product name as well so that way it becomes my one table for the product tip related information and then let's say i want quantity that which i took earlier sum of uh, quantity which is present here and then I add aggregation and let's say this time I take discount and I take average of discount. So two different measure discount and click OK. So that basically you can see you can create as many number of uh, uh, nested aggregation or a nested grouping as you want and multiple aggregation depends on the complexity of the requirement. With that you can create this table and like I showed earlier as well in previous video if you don't want to change the main data which may mostly the case is so what you can do is un undo this you can right click duplicate and now in this sheet you can perform the same operation again by selecting the group by going into advance and do that so as an exercise you can take that and put it uh, and create the similar view so that's what I wanted to show you how you can how you can actually configure the advanced grouping which can be really helpful let's say not just for grouping the data but you want to create some dimension tables and all or you want to create some unique values out of the main data then you can very easily do that so with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic